multiplying fractions. So if you look at this first question, evaluate this. Um, our first rule is to write it as one fraction. So it's going to be 2 times 3 divided by 5 times 7. Then I'm going to um, simplify before I multiply, which means I'm going to see if there's anything that can cancel or that can divide both bottom and top. 2 can't go in any of those, 3 can't go in any of this. So 2 times 3 is 6, 5 times 7 is 35, and this will be your answer in simplest form. Same rule for B. First write it as one fraction, 8 times 7 over 5 times 4. I'm going to see if I can cancel anything or can divide by. I can see that 4... 8 is divisible by 4, and 4 can go in itself. So 4 divided by itself is 1. 4 divided into 8 two times. 2 can't go in anything at the bottom. 7 can't. So I can then multiply. So I simplify before I multiply. 2 times 7, 14. 5 times 1 is 5. Because they didn't you can see this 8 over 5 is an improper fraction, then I'm going to leave my answer in an improper fraction unless the question say leave your answer as a mixed number. But because they gave us an improper fraction at the start, we can leave our answer in improper fraction mode. Right, the last one. Please don't try and do this as a mixed number. Always write as a improper fraction uh, as a improper fraction first. So we'll say three times three is nine. Plus 1 is 10 thirds, because that, that is 3 full ones, and 1 whole is 3 over 3, and if there's 3 of them, there will be 9 thirds, plus that 1 third is 10 thirds. Times 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12 over 5. Oh, yeah, 12 over 5. I'll then write it as one fraction, so it's going to be 10 times 12, top with top, bottom with bottom. And I'm going to see if I can simplify. Um, remember, it doesn't have to be underneath each other, it can also be across, as long as it's just multiplication above the line and underneath the line. 5 div divided into itself once, and 5 divided into 10 twice. 3 divided itself once, and in 12, 4 times. I can't simplify 2 and 4 because both of them are above the line. So my answer will be 2 times 4 is 8, 1 times 1 is 1. I usually don't write 8 divided by 1, so my answer will be just 8. Just one more hint. If you ever get a fraction, if you always, anytime have to multiply a fraction with a whole number, so I'm just going to add D here at the bottom. And let's say we have 2 thirds times 6. The hint that I can give you is if you have a whole number, always put it across or over 1. 6 divided by 1 is still 6. So I'm not changing the value. But then it's clear to see what goes where. So if you have a whole number, always put it over 1. 